Hello, this is Haku Bean, and I am here once again with SCP-1203. I know, it's been a while since I've read anything relating to SCP, but I decided I should probably take it easy today because I didn't get anywhere near enough sleep last night. And also, I kind of miss SCP wikis. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into this. I number SCP-1203, Object Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1203 is assigned in to a 3 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter containment cell. The living space at at Site-17 is outfitted with steel walls and one solid barred door that locks from the outside. There is to be one guard on duty at all times in your cell to ensure SCP-1203 does not attempt a self-determination or auto-abort. It is recommended that this subject be dosed persistently with the, the prescribed antipsychotic medications and mild narcotics to avoid this possibility. These methods will be replaced with restraints during SCP-1203's pregnancies. SCP-1203 is to be restrained at times when not under supervision. At no time is SCP-1203 allowed to leave Site-17. One to three hours before death, SCP-1203 will begin in seizing, followed by a state similar to eucatatonia, and ending in a cease of all bodily functions. Time death is recorded after a pulse is shown in, in, in the newborn, rather than the, a mother is natural or death. Termination attempts on SCP-1203 as of the instant with research assistant blank, are indefinitely on hold. Research log from failed termination in temp is 1203B. Description SCP-1203 is a human female, approximately 20 years of age, identifying by the name Miranda. SCP-1203 has been con in containment for approximately 95 years, or 5 seconds as of, of SCP-1203's next natural and death and rebirth. SCP-1203 was recovered from Xochitl, Ikako, Mexico. Agent Blank began an investigating with the lead based on a local reports of disappearances near the fought Edward Serpent and Pyramid. Reference unknown in the Blank newspaper. La Policia Arrescada a baby on a pyramid day. I cannot read that. <laughs> SP-1203 was as is governed at a pyramid summit, accompanied by members of the Serpent's Hand. Uh, Mother SCP-1203 could not be located. At 21 years of age, SCP-1203 undergoes a process similar to group arthenogenesis, resulting with the consumption of one genetically identical human fetus. At an embryonic level, this form of reproduction is comparable to the aforementioned medical phenomenon. However, new instances of SCP-1203 are not developed in are not developmentally inhibited, and do not benefit from any natural extended longevity. SCP-1203, during any stage of her life, has an identical biological profile to previous instances of SCP-1203. A definite date cannot be placed on the length of the its existence of SCP-1203. The condition suffered by SCP-1203 is unique in that memories are also transferred from mother to the newborn. Variants of endogenic yeah, of SCP-1203 are represented in the sense that, that SCP-1203 maintains memory of its previous lifespans. The experience of rebirth and the recollection of the event have a noticeable or well, detrimental or psychological effect on SCP-1203. Based on these observations, we can assume SCP-1203 was lucid in infancy and during birth. Other than 1203 blank. This was on December 23rd, 1991. Excerpt from interview. Dr. Bob. Tell us more about your family history. Hmm. I only remember back to my eighth, eighth grandmother, but only little bits and pieces. I recall other things, but they're kind of like a dream that you forget after you wake up. Tell us the experience you have after death. I fall asleep, and I wake up. It's dark, and then I feel warm. I see a light like a tunnel, and I'm back again. How is the experience of being born traumatic? I trust you do not mean the last time. I can still hear that poor man screaming. 
No. I remember it. I'm there in both aces and I'm pushing myself out. It is unpleasant. Would you like to recycle to end? Yes, and I would like to fly as well. Log from te failed L termination and 1203B. Four, due to lack of any discernible benefit to the foundation and current mental state of SP-1203, a termination was scheduled on an unknown date under supervision for the late research assistant and blank. The attempt to avoid cyclical revert of the is subject to place after shortly after SP-1203's first labor contractions. The decision to abort rather than terminate SP-1203 was reached on the basis that more could be learned in regard to the nature of SP-1203 in this manner. Extraction was performed unsuccessfully, the newborn having been completely removed and separated from the mother. The mother was then pronounced dead. The only kernel of, of, of potassium injection the mother as was in newborn in 1203 is husk began to die expand. Was followed. What followed was a report of the indiscernible eruption of viscera from research assistant blank. Both instances of SCP-1203 were found afterwards to be undamaged. The newborn completely recovered completely after the incident. No Normal potassium levels were present. Research assistant blank was found after it's completely drained of fluid. A circulatory system had been verged and strained from the mouth. The autopsy revealed no marks on research assistant blank. That would be indicative, indicative of a physical assault. No other anomalies were found, save for an extra hair growth of 200 millimeters, a scar. Arda is 1.067 millimeters in. And diameter on the forehead, an extreme case of hyperalemia. That was a lot darker than I was expecting. <laughs> Maybe I should vet these before I actually like read them. Anyway, that was SCP-1203. A person who is reborn by giving birth to themselves every, it seems, 21 years. If you enjoyed the video for some weird reason, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow with a, no with a more normal video. Goodbye!